This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1157, 12 Tough Truths About Great Relationships, by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? Very well, I hope. I am your host and narrator, Greg Audino. Really glad that you've joined me once again. This is where I read to you from some of the best relationship content on the web and in books. And today is no exception, as I have a post from Mark Chernoff of Mark and Angel. Definitely a fan favorite amongst longtime listeners. Today, Mark will, quite simply, be sharing 12 tough truths about great relationships. So let's give his work the floor and start optimizing your life. 12 Tough Truths About Great Relationships by Mark Chernoff of MarkandAngel.com Our media culture, with its happily ever after fairy tales, often creates the expectation that life is supposed to be like an endless day at Disney World, and nowhere does our media culture present a more skewed set of expectations than around intimate relationships. We are swayed to believe a great relationship is all sunshine and roses, despite the fact that most of us have witnessed firsthand the difficulties and disagreements our parents struggled through when we were kids. Just as life isn't perfect, Intimate relationships aren't either. They require effort and compromise. They require two people to practice patience and presence, and thoughtfully extend themselves for the sake of the other. They require us to redefine the fairy tale story of love that our media culture has attempted to brainwash us with. It's time to take a stand and acknowledge the fact that we've been fed lies. We've been told that love is just a feeling, but the reality is that love is an action many actions. It's continuous work. It's something two people must commit to as a daily ritual. When you're able to accept this new reality and get past the damaging lies about things needing to be perfect all the time, you make room for the true joy of engaging deeply in a great relationship, which holds a powerful, flexible space that widens itself to accommodate the necessary struggles. Here are 12 tough truths about great relationships. Number one, a soulmate is really just a loving partner who's willing to work with you. To say that one waits a lifetime for their soulmate to come around is a bit of a paradox. People eventually get tired of waiting, so they take a chance on someone. And by the powers of love and commitment, they become soulmates, which takes a lifetime to perfect. Number two, true love is often the most inconvenient kind. Again, it takes two people who truly, truly want to work together every day, compromises and all, to build something special. That's what great relationships are all about. Daily teamwork. Number three, there will be lots of little issues. When we face pain in relationships, our first response is often to sever ties rather than to maintain commitment. But the extent to which two people in a relationship can bring up and resolve issues is a significant sign of the soundness of their relationship. Number four, there will be lots of tough conversations. The right words won't always come easy, but when you don't talk it out, there's a lot of important stuff that ends up not getting said. Every great couple needs to argue, consciously and mindfully, now and then, just to prove that the relationship is strong enough to survive. Long-term relationships, the ones that truly matter, are all about weathering the peaks and valleys. Number five, conscious, mindful communication is necessary, but takes practice. You can measure the happiness of an intimate relationship by the number of scars that each partner carries on their tongues, earned from years of biting back angry, unhelpful words. Number six, there will be more honest misunderstandings than you'd like. When it comes to understanding your partner, deal with them as they are not how you'd like them to be. Read the five love languages. Number seven, there will be lots of apologies and necessary forgiveness. Love is living your own life, but sharing it. It's forgiveness. It's making a million little mistakes with each other and turning them into learning experiences. Love is patience, optimism, and sometimes it's a simple kiss when there's nothing left to say. Number eight, Partners can't force changes in each other. People can only change themselves. Instead of trying to change your partner, give them your support and lead by example. 
if there is a specific behavior they have that you're hoping fades over time, it probably won't. If you really need them to change something specific, be honest and put all the cards on the table so your partner knows how you feel and why. But keep in mind that the best way to love someone is not to change them, but instead to help them reveal the greatest versions of themselves. Number nine, a great relationship isn't needy. In a great relationship, you love each other more than you need each other. Number 10, even the greatest relationship won't completely fix you. If you are not happy with yourself or comfortable with your own truth when entering a relationship, there's a good chance you're not ready for that relationship. Work on loving yourself first. Angel and I discussed this in more detail in the self-love chapter of 1,000 Little Things Happy Successful People Do Differently. Number 11. Some people won't support your relationship, no matter how great it is. Great relationships don't always make sense, especially from the outside. And number 12. No relationship lasts forever. People don't live forever. Appreciate what you have with your partner, the loving moments and all the little things. You'll never know how much they mean to you until the day they are no longer beside you. And remember, just because something doesn't last forever doesn't mean it wasn't worth your while. Afterthoughts The bottom line is that all relationships, including the greatest of them all, require patience and effort, and no relationship will work flawlessly all the time. Being too hot and cold about the expectations and demands of what should or shouldn't happen in a relationship always spells trouble. No matter what happens or how great a relationship is, there will be struggles present. But you can still focus on the good. Instead of constantly looking for signs of what's not working in your relationship, what you need to do is look for signs of what is. Because as you know, what we focus on grows stronger in our lives. You just listened to the post titled, 12 Tough Truths About Great Relationships by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. There are many healthy practices we can take when navigating our relationships, one which includes speaking to a professional therapist should you need one. BetterHelp helps connect you and your personal licensed professional therapist online, where you can schedule your weekly video or phone sessions at your own convenience. And with their counselors specializing in stress, family conflicts, LGBT matters, and more, they make it easy for you to change your counselors whenever needed. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. No more sitting uncomfortably in a waiting room. Gain the flexibility of messaging your counselor anytime. BetterHelp is not self-help. It is professional counseling where everything you share is confidential. And guys, I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com ORD. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash O-R-D. And thanks a lot to Mark for this great post today. Another particularly sobering article. There's a lot to love here. But one thing that stood out to me is how much these truths reminded me of the correlation uh, between our own development and our ability to deliver in relationships. It's easy to feel that somehow the perfect relationship will overpower who we are as individuals, but that's something that's really worth questioning. Think about some of what we heard today. Can we count on our ability to find a healthy relationship if we generally struggle to communicate, if we don't look for solutions and arguments as opposed to being right, if we keep others on a short leash, if we struggle to compromise? These types of qualities will not suddenly vanish once we're with someone. They're skills that if we can learn today, can allow us to bring our best selves to a relationship when it comes. Therefore, much of the luck in relationships is about timing and when we're ready to receive the right partner. I hope that makes sense. That's all for me though, everyone. Hey, thanks so much for joining today for another episode. It's because of you showing up that we are able to keep the lights on around here. And be sure to do the same tomorrow, where I will be back with another post for you and where your optimal life awaits.